Welcome to Good Hacker Lead Code Tutorial. Here we are going to solve Roman to integer coding problem. So Roman to integer is a follow-up question for integer to Roman or vice versa. Like previously, a Good Hacker already have a tutorial about integer to Roman. And today, today, this time we are going to solve Roman to integer. So given a Roman numeral, cover it to an integer. Input is guaranteed to be within the range from 1 to 3,999. The problem description is short, so we can get some knowledge about Roman numerals first. So from the wiki page here, so the numeric system represented by Roman numerals originate in ancient Roma and remain the usual way of writing numbers throughout Europe well into the late Middle Ages. So late Middle Ages, like uh, several hundred years ago. So numbers in this system are represented by combination of letters from the Latin alphabet. So Roman numerals, as used today, are based on seven symbols. So seven basic symbols. If you read in English, that's uh, IVXLCDM. Each of the symbols match with one value, 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000. So nowadays, we are using the Hindu-Arabic numerals most popularly, like those formats we are very familiar with. And if we, we go to travel to Europe, we visit some historic relics. We, we can see like some um, sculptures, some historic buildings on the walls. We see some like Roman, Roman numerals. So at that time, people used Roman numerals to write numbers. So, like uh, here, if we see some Roman numerals, how can we convert it to Arabic format? So that's a question, and also that's a topic for today's coding problem. How can we do the conversion from Roman to integer? So like here, we see that there are seven basic symbols. With these seven basic Roman symbols, we can use them to combine together to indicate other numbers. Like we see here, like a XX. So that's a, you can just uh, check the value of each Roman symbol. And that's a 10, 10. And add up together, that's 20. So we use each symbol's value and do the addition, that's 20. Similarly, like a, that's a LI, that's a rate from 50, and that's a 1. So 50 plus 1, that's a 51. So usually, it's a just a basic uh, addition operation. Use the value of uh, each symbol and add up them together to get the total value. But there are some special case. Special case, like the 4 and 9. 4 and 9 is wrote differently. So the smaller number is put at the left, and uh, the right side is a bigger number. So it's doing a minus operation. So we use a 1 minus a 5 minus 1 to get the value. 10 minus 1 to get the value. So we see that there are some special case. So if the left side value is a smaller than the right side symbol's value, so we do in the minus operation. So we get some conclusion. Like most of the time, we are doing addition. But if the left side character symbol value is a smaller than the right side character's value, we do in the minus. Now, if we see any new Roman nu numerals, we can like use this uh, operations, uh, this uh, rules to do the conversion. Like we see here, if that's a uh, xi, this value. So we initially we can have a um, like uh, implicitly, we have a output we want to. That's a output of the Arabic format. So at the beginning, just a zero and just a zero, and we get is a rightmost character's value. So for check the first one, that's uh, just a one, and we add to this final result, and then we move to the left side, move to the left side, and we check the second character and compare with the right character. So if that's a greater than the right character, we'll keep doing the addition. 
keep doing the addition and add to the final output. And uh, if we see some other numbers like this one, first at beginning, we check the rightmost character, its value. So at beginning, add the 10 here, add the 10 here, and move to the left, move to the left, and check the second one. Check the second one. So that's uh, 1. So 1 is smaller than the 10. 1 is smaller than 10. So we need to do the minus operation. To do the minus operation, we get a 9. Okay, see? So the when every time we meet a new Roman numerals, we are simply doing a reading process. Reading process to read the from the right to the left, to read the right from the left. And we, every time we read and compare two characters, two characters. If the left character is uh, greater than the right character, we are just uh, simply add to the final result. And if that's uh, smaller than the right character, we would do the minus operation. So it's pretty straightforward process. So first, to do the reading process from the right to the next, and then compare um, two correct two symbols at a time. And if the left one is uh, greater than the right one, keep doing addition. If the smaller than the right one, do the minus operation. Now we know this um, process. This is a um, rules to do the conversion. Now we can go back to the coding to write the codes to simulate this process. So go back to coding here. First, we can do some edge case check. So edge case check, check this uh, input string, whether it's a valid string. So if it is a null, or if this is a, just an empty string, we can simply return zero. And then we can initialize a map map. So this map will store this uh, relationship of this basic uh, similar symbols with this uh, uh, symbol character and their value. So we can call it as a Roman values. So initialize this map. And we put this their relation one by one. So it is a characters, character, single code. So that's an I map dot put we that's a five map dot put x that's a ten map put that's a L that's for the fifty map dot put that's a L C that's 100. I'm going to put uh, D. 500. I'm going to put M. That's for the 1000. So these seven symbols and their values were put into this Roman values hash map. So here, and then we can have a nuns. This is uh, just a variable of um, value of the string. And then we can initialize as our final output value. That's an Arabic value we want to output return for this uh, problem. So this problem result at the beginning, the initial value, just we can use uh, the rightest, the right character of this string. So that would be the Roman values dot get. So we get this last character. The last character would be nice. And we check, we use this last character to use this map to check its value and assign to this result. And then do this reading process. Reading process from the right to the left. So I would start from the length minus two. 
because we already read one character so we go to the second character from the right side and once i is greater or equal to zero we keep doing this and read uh, keep moving left forward. So if the current character we are visiting the value is greater or equal to the its right size uh, character's value. We are going to add, do the uh, adding operation. So just add this value, this symbol's value to the final result. Otherwise, if this symbol is smaller than the right character's uh, value, so we are doing minus operation from the total value to do the minus minus this symbol's value after this for loop we can return the result that's a final value the integer value we want to return so before submit let's uh, quickly check if there are some typo first we made some edge case check so now on the empty string we return zero. Then we initialize this uh, this map. So this map is called the Roman values. So Roman values store the relationship of the symbol characters and their values. I V X L C D M and their values. Then we first uh, have this uh, result assign with the value of the last characters use this map to check is the last symbol's value and then do this reading process from right to left from the second character or from the right and we check if this character the roman values is greater than the right character's roman values so we add to the final result otherwise if it's smaller than the right character we are doing minus operation. Okay, let's click submit. Okay, accept it. So it's a correct answer. So we successfully solved this Roman to integer coding problem. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and thank you for subscription to Good Taker uh, YouTube channel. So we can keep solving the problem and keep enjoying this uh, uh, process of uh, uh, solving the intellectual challenges. So see you next time.